Well, hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey guys, let's talk for a minute about putting on the breastplate of righteousness. We're going to talk about where these things are going, why they're flying off the shelves, what maybe you might want to look for to have some yourself, and uh, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, you know the different levels of armor plates. So mirror safety is the ultimate in PPE or personal protection equipment. So if you're looking for a level four armor plate for your plate carrier or your backpack or anything like that they might be the spot to stop for you um, they are based out of Austin Texas and um, so before we go much further I'm going to uh, what I want to demonstrate here is just how thin these plates are now you won't be able to tell how heavy they are but uh, each one of these plates are 5.9 pounds and I weighed them and that is a fact. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put this on in my plate carrier and I'm just going to show you the profile front and back side and uh, show you how, um, how thin these are. But I will say this, they're about the lightest level 4 plate that you can buy maybe the lightest I'm not sure um, but this is a 10-year uh, warranty uh, these are in fact level 4 and uh, it tells you the material and we'll talk about that more in a minute a 10 by 12 and uh, by uh, 0 0.9 of an in, uh, uh, 9 yeah <laughs> it's a point nine zero is of an inch is what that is so right here and uh, this is a single curve plate we'll talk more about that in a minute and uh, this is the uh, protection that it uh, tells you that it gives you and we'll talk more about that in a minute and uh, what it defends against and we'll talk more about that in a minute so let me go ahead and just model this thing with this fine plate the uh, what I'm calling the uh, breastplate of righteousness so this is kind of a uh, minimalist setup which is what I like and I'm wearing exactly what I might be wearing when I need to put this on so that's why I'm wearing this so you can see you know how far it sticks out now uh, if this mag holder was not attached you know they would be even thinner but I'm gonna I'm gonna model this for you here you go I want you to see the side profile just like that so I mean this is uh, this is this is doable it's you know concealable I guess is relative right but it's it's uh it's lightweight you know I can I can move around in this thing so in the past 20 years to more recent times our soldiers for instance maybe may have been wearing something like this right here right and that's uh 1.2 inches thick and uh, and it weighs uh, um, about a pound and three ounces more than this plate so um, so technology has come a very long ways in you know kind of a short nickname I guess is uh, polyceramic you know is uh, is what they is what they call that so uh, so looking at how thin and light this is um, let's talk about the uh, the ratings so so for for guys that are and gales you know that are looking for uh, body armor and they want to know you know what's the common threat you know in all honesty the common threat is handguns 
and uh, you know so you can you can go with uh, you know like a level two that would handle uh, you know this these are uh, just some quick NIJ standards the NIJ <clears throat> is uh, kind of a funny word a funny name um, you know the National Institute of Justice so um, but they are the regulate regulator of what these uh, what these plates are supposed to defend against so that's a good thing all right so uh, like for instance you know if you were um, just worried about a handgun you could use you know soft body armor you know which is level two you know nine millimeter 357 magnum and uh, and then there's a, a soft armor level 3a and that's the 357 sig all the way to a 44 magnum you know um <clears throat> in soft armor and then level um level three comes into that's where you're coming into your hard armor all right and they handle all of your common rifle rounds you know 762 by 39 like the ak-47 you know that kind of thing that's your you know that's your level three plate now the difference between a level three, um, and, oh, and they also have a level three A, okay, but that's not an NIJ standard, um, but it is a real thing. So if you're checking this stuff out, you can look that up. It, it's kind of uh, you know the level three on steroids kind of thing, but um, this uh, you know according to the NIJ, we'll just kind of stick to that. You know, the, uh, the difference that you're going to get between, you know, a level 3 plate or a level 3A plate and a level 4 plate is um, you, you got, uh, it's going to be able to handle, you know, your, uh, your, all of your steel core ammo all the way up to a, uh, you know, a black tip 30-06 um, AP round, armor piercing round. It'll be able to take that. All right, and uh, and all of this stuff has been tested. Now, when you go to the website, um, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, um, um, when you're looking at the website, if you want to see other videos, there's videos listed on the website that you'll be able to find fairly quickly. You know, especially if you click on this plate, and uh, and then. You know, you'll be able to look at some of the demonstrations that other people have done. So I chose not to uh, shoot the plates. Um, they did send me, uh, Mirror contacted me, and, uh, and uh, I contacted them back and, uh, and told them that I would be interested. In, in, uh, so I just kind of picked what I wanted to show, um, and that's how that worked. So they, they did give me, uh, you know, plates to balance out my my rig you know front and back because if you're wearing one plate you know it just kind of pulls your your uh, carrier down one way or in the other so that, and that's not good you want two plates um so so anyway uh so that's the ratings if you guys are looking for but to me it's like at 5.9 pounds and less than an inch thick and you've seen me modeling this thing i mean it's pretty flat to your body you know but don't get me wrong, there's nothing comfortable about wearing armor. I don't care which one it is. There's nothing comfortable. Now, uh, one thing that I've noticed, you know, obviously, you know, if you're, if you're just wearing uh, it, if, uh, you know, with all of the things that are going on in the world today, you know, if you live in one of these uh, nasty cities where they just allow, you know, criminals to run around, you, you, you may choose to defend yourself with just being just having armor on you know is uh, is one way to do it but obviously I don't recommend that I recommend that you carry a reaching tool and where you're um, and well uh, be honest with you I'm not wearing this armor everywhere I go you know um, but obviously if I was walking into a situation um, I certainly would now um, I will say this this these armor plates um they're legal in all 50 states you can wear this you can go through an airport with it you can carry it in your carry-on luggage or you can wear it it's completely legal in all 50 states just so you know 
Um, now there is, I think, one state, Connecticut, they decided that they would make it illegal for you to be able to defend yourself with armor <laughs> um, from purchasing online um, is how it's put. But that's weird. Anyway, um, so, so now um, let's talk about, let's just talk about the, uh, um, what you can do with the plate, first of all. So these things are made, you know, for, you know, you, you can put them in your, in your backpacks and your, your plate carriers. Let's talk about, you know, what these things are made out of. You know, these things are made out of, uh, like I said, the nickname really is a, uh, you know, a poly ceramic blend. You know, it's, uh, it's called a alumina oxide ceramic and polyethylene. Um, so one of the reasons these plates are called a standalone plate is because, you know, you don't need to have trauma pads uh, worn with them or spalling protection. Um, and when I say spalling protection, I mean when a bullet hits this thing, you know, and splats, you know, is the spalling going to do damage to you? You know, that kind of thing. So this polyethylene that's mixed with this ceramic and, you know, this alumina oxide, um, I don't pretend to know what all that is mixed together. But one thing that I do know is um, this combination of materials makes this a standalone plate because um, the spalling protection is inside the plate. So when the bullet goes in, um, you know, you don't have that, like if you were shooting steel plates, that steel, you know, that fragmentation has to go somewhere, that kind of thing. And all of that has been mitigated in a lot of different ways too, by the way. But the difference between a steel plate that is level four, and something like this is a level four steel plate is going to be at least twice the weight as this. And I can tell you right now, I like the weight of this plate. I feel like uh, it is substantial. And uh, but if it was twice as much wearing two plates, I'll be honest, man, I'd, I'd have to really take my pick on uh, taking my chances in a in a fight. You know, maybe not wearing it to be to be more agile and mobile, you know, that kind of thing. So the technology that Mirror has used in these plates, you know, was really the right way to go. Um, it made them uh, light and more likely that you were going to grab this plate and actually use it if you needed to. So, um, so now, you know, these plates, um, they were tested and in a uh, U.S. based laboratory in accordance with NIJ level four armor, but they are not certified. Got to tell you that. All right. So, um, but you would be surprised at how many plates out there that are well known and great plates that are NIJ tested and not certified. But I thought I had to throw that out right now. So, um, so now, with that said, um, they do offer uh, a ten-year warranty on this plate, and it's right on the it's up right on the uh, the back of the plate on this label right here. So, uh, so this is a uh, you know uh, you know in my opinion, from what I've seen and what I read and checking the company out. Um, I like the company, good group of guys over there, uh, military backgrounds pretty much sounds like is the, uh, is, is kind of the, uh, the, the mantra over there. So, uh, so yes, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the plate that you need to, that you want to choose and uh, let me, I know someone's going to ask me about this carrier, and I'll, I'll mention something about the, the carrier here in a minute. Now, I'll, I'll just kind of give you, you know, especially if you're looking for uh, an armor plate and you're thinking about carriers. Um, I'm not an expert, but I'll show you a couple of things that um, one is quite different than this one. So, um, 
so yeah the uh, the you know you can go with level four and you know you're done you know whatever uh, whatever comes your way you know you're protected you know of course it's got to hit the plate <laughs> um, and they uh, they do not have uh, side plates the last I've seen on their website if someone was interested in in having uh, side plate protection um, for me personally I would never go that far um, I've really choose agility and mobile over all of that stuff this is far as i go um, that's my personal opinion so now let me show you i'm going to show you this rig and another one real quick all right so this rig here is a uh, is a plate carrier with you know, your uh, magazine holder on there, right? That that's what that is, and uh, and I like that setup right there. Um, and if I want it flat up, and and I'm not interested in having magazines, obviously I just pull those out, and uh, and and I'm done. Now, as far as the name brand of this carrier right here, for me personally, I wanted. I'm I'm just uh, I'm a minimalist. I want the minimum that I need on there. Um, as a matter of fact, putting these uh, uh, little morel patches on there is is almost too much for me. <laughs> so uh, I wanted the minimum. So this is uh, this is what it a minimalist kind of looks like. Okay, just a plate goes in the back and a plate goes in the front. That's a minimalist. And then if you want uh, like uh, like if I was going to wear this under my clothes, for instance, and uh, I'm not in an uh, offensive position, then I might go with something like this, where there is no um, there is no hold, no magazine holder on there. So this is just a, a simple old black hawk, um, and uh, but man, I'm not talking about brands. I'm really not. Um, there's so many great ones. This one's not the best one to be honest with you um, but But there we go, you know, it's just a simple put your plates in put your clothes on over it and uh, Conceal that way um, And then you have uh, you know some you know, you have a, a level for protection going on there all right, so uh, so and then as far as the uh, th this thing here, I bought it at a gun show. It's uh, kind of a cheapy mark off of of a great one. I don't know even what that one was anymore. And um, and that's pretty much it. That's about all I can tell you. I like it. It's not made the very best, but for me, it, it works just great. I, I really I love it. You know, but. Um, yeah, um, you you know you're gonna pay a minimum of like seventy five dollars, you know, for a, a carrier, and you know that's for a cheapie. But you gotta be careful because you'll get something just junk cheap. The only reason I bought this one is because I've seen it first. But uh, you know, typically, you know, one hundred fifty dollars, one hundred twenty five, one hundred fifty, two hundred, something like that. You know, for a decent one of those. Um, anyway, I will leave a uh, uh, a link in the description to this plate i'll be honest it's lightweight it is thin and uh and it is nice you know and this company mirror safety you know they really do specialize in ppe and i'm glad that they added armor to their lineup so i will leave a uh, a link in the description Go ahead and like this video, share it, and, um, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.